this is dr vijay today we are going to study about regulation of acid base balance by the kidney that is renal regulation of ph we already studied there are three different defense mechanism in order to maintain normal ph that is buffer mechanism respiratory mechanism and renal mechanism buffer mechanism is the immediate and fast mechanism so it is called first line defense whereas lungs usually the second line defense and kidney is the last or third line defense today we are going to study about how kidney helps in maintaining normal ph that is renal mechanism of acid base balance so there are different steps for renal regulation of ph first step is secretion or excretion of hydrogen ion to the tubular fluid by the tubular cell and second step it is the most important step of renal regulation of ph that is reclamation or recovery or reabsorption of bicarbonate by the tubular cells from the tubular fluid and then on to the plasma or circulation the third step is excretion of titrable acids here we know that the ph of urine is a slightly acidic because of this excretion of titrable acids like phosphoric acids and the last step in renal regulation of ph is excretion of ammonia in the form of ammonium ions we will see these steps one by one in detail first let me explain excretion of hydrogen ion or secretion of hydrogen ion so i will explain by taking one proximal convoluted tubular cell and this is the tubular lumen where bowman's capsule of the nephron filters the plasma the ultra filtrate is present in this tubular lumen and later on it will be converted to urine and adjacent to tubular cells we have capillaries which has got blood or circulation as we know the tubular fluid it is nothing but ultra filtrate of the plasma so it contains sodium ion in the proximal convoluted tubules or renal tubular cells as a result of metabolism there is a generation of carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide combines with water molecule to form carbonic acid in presence of an important enzyme called carbonic anhydrase so this particular reaction takes place in renal tubular cell and now this carbonic acid which is unstable immediately dissociate to give hydrogen ion and bicarbonate now we have in the tubular lumen we have sodium which is filtered by bowman's capsule of the nephron and in the tubular cell we have hydrogen ion so there is an exchanger or a transporter present in the tubular cell and this transporter or exchanger is called sodium hydrogen ion exchange protein now the sodium which is present in the tubular lumen will come inside the tubular cell through this sodium hydrogen exchanger and this hydrogen ion generated within the proximal convoluted tubular cell or renal tubular cell goes out of the tubular cell and to the tubular lumen in the form of into the tubular fluid so this exchange takes place together by this sodium hydrogen exchange protein so this is actually the first step secretion of hydrogen ion by the tubular cell into the tubular fluid and the sodium and bicarbonate will be recovered it will be transported to the circulation or adjacent capillaries so the first step 
of renal regulation of pH is secretion or excretion of this hydrogen ion from the tubular cell to the tubular fluid. So we will move on to the second step. The second step is reabsorption or recovery or reclamation of bicarbonate. So once again, here I have tubular lumen, renal tubular cells and blood. So in this step, we have bicarbonate filtered by the Bowman's capsule of the nephron. Now this bicarbonate is present in the tubular fluid. This bicarbonate which is a base and you remember in our body there is an alkali reserve. That means the main function of this kidney is to recover this bicarbonate because we must contain excess of alkali that is called alkali reserve. So how kidney tries to recover this filtered bicarbonate otherwise it will go and excreted in the urine. So, this bicarbonate combines with this hydrogen ion which is coming from the tubular cell or secreted by the tubular cell and to form acid that is carbonic acid. Okay? So, bicarbonate is a base which is filtered by the nephron or Bowman's capsule of the nephron combines with hydrogen ion to form carbonic acid. Again, this carbonic acid dissociate to give water and carbon dioxide. So, this carbon dioxide now diffuse into the tubular cell. Now, we have carbon dioxide inside the tubular cell. Again, it combines with water to form carbonic acid in presence of carbonic anhydrase. Again, this carbonic acid which is unstable dissociate to give bicarbonate and hydrogen ion. So, please notice here this bicarbonate which is formed now is actually this filtered bicarbonate. So, that is this step reabsorption of bicarbonate. So, this bicarbonate which is present as a ultra filtrate of the plasma. So, our body tries to recover this bicarbonate in the form of carbon dioxide. Later, this carbon dioxide can be converted to bicarbonate in the renal tubular cells. Now, this bicarbonate and sodium together they will diffuse into the blood. So, this is the very important step and this step is called reabsorption of bicarbonate recovery of bicarbonate or reclamation of bicarbonate in order to maintain alkali reserve in the blood. The next step is excretion of titrable acids. So again the ultrafiltrate contains another base called phosphate. This is a base like bicarbonate. This is a base. Now this phosphate base combines with hydrogen ion which is released from the tubular cell to form an acid along with the sodium it is called sodium dihydrogen phosphate which is an acid now. So remember in the proximal convoluted tubule the pH of the ultrafiltrate is almost same of that of plasma but when the tubular fluid comes down down to the distal convoluted tubular cells it will be acidified because there will be formation of acid within the tubular lumen and this acidification is amplified by this hydrogen ion which is released in the PCT or proximal convoluted tubule. So, this is the reason why the pH of urine is slightly acidic because there is a formation of acids. So, now this acid excreted in the urine. Okay? So, what is the step? Excretion of titrable acids. The Bowman's capsule filters phosphate which is a base combines with proton or hydrogen ion to form phosphoric acid and it combines with sodium to form sodium dihydrogen phosphoric acid and it will be excreted in the urine.
so this is the reason for acidification of urine the last step is excretion of ammonium ions so in the tubular cells there is glutamine so this glutamine can be converted to glutamic acid release of ammonia and even this glutamic acid can be undergo deamination to give ammonia and alpha ketoglutarate both these compounds release ammonia in the tubular cells predominantly in the distal convoluted tubular cells and this ammonia now transported to tubular lumen or to the tubular fluid now in the tubular lumen this ammonia combines with this hydrogen ion and to form ammonium and this ammonium will be excreted again this ammonia can be combined with chloride which is again a component of ultrafiltrate and it can be excreted in the urine as ammonium chloride okay there are four steps secretion or excretion of hydrogen ion recovery of bicarbonate in order to maintain alkali reserve and excretion of titrable acids that is the reason the ph of urine is acidic and last but not least excretion of ammonia in the form of ammonia so these are the four steps by which our kidney tries to maintain the normal ph that is 7.35 to 7.45 So this is renal regulation of pH thanks for watching